Hi guys, welcome back to another Get Ready With Me. So today's video is sponsored by RPG Show Wigs. I have worked with them previously in the past and hair quality is always amazing. Lace is always amazing and I feel like today is also the same. So this is the wig I'll be working with today. So as you guys can see, it comes pre-plucked, pre-bleached. It also came pre-styled, so I don't really have to do much to the wig aside from, you know, installing the wig. So, so I'm going to install the wig now. I'm going to start with my hair first and then move on to makeup. Also, if you guys are wondering, this hair bonnet is also from my collection. So there's three different colours. There's a the black and pink, brown and the black and gold. I'll insert pictures and videos right here. So if you're interested, just send me a message on Instagram or you can send me an email. Okay, so I know I look a bit weird right now, but guys, just bear with me, okay? Bear with me. So I'm going to cut off the sides not cut off the sides but i'm gonna basically install the wig in sections so today i'm gonna use my olive oil fix it spray to install my wig i'm also gonna use my bedhead hairspray to install this wig So I'm going to take my Slade by Bailey comb and just use this to press the lace into my skin. I really, really like this comb just because of how thin it is. Also, it's really good for straightening your hair because obviously when you're using a plastic um, rat tail comb, it's likely to get melted. But obviously because this is metal, it's really good. So now we just need to get rid of this white cast. I'm gonna show <laughs> Okay, so now we just need to get rid of this white cast around the perimeter and then we're good, okay? So you guys can see how that white cast is literally disappearing. So I'm just gonna do that all around the perimeter and then move on to styling. Okay, so now I'm just going to move on to styling my hair so we can start my makeup and then, you know, get to the finished look because I'm actually so excited. I don't think I've had this hair colour before. I'm thinking of doing like just really slight baby hairs on the side. Nothing crazy. I'm not really... I don't know if you guys have clocked. <laughs> Maybe it's because I don't know how to do baby hairs or I don't know, but I'm not really like... I like baby hairs on other people, but I'm not sure how they look on me. That's that's my thing. So first, I'm going to start off by defining this part, and you guys can see it came as a side parting, but I feel like the parting's not really the parting's not really defined. So I'm going to go ahead once again. I'm using my guys. Listen, you see this comb? This comb right here. You need it. Like this is actually a must. You need to go and get this. So I'm going to go ahead and use the comb again to just like you know just create my parting. So this whole time I've had my hot comb on, so I'm just going to go ahead and use that to obviously hot comb my hair. Have you guys, I don't know if you guys have seen the new trend that's going around with like baby hairs and people curling their baby hairs and stuff. I really wish I was like that creative to try certain things, but I'm just not. I don't know, it's just, uh, not like it's not me, but I just, I don't know, man. Maybe because I'm not a hairstylist, maybe because I'm not a hairstylist, that's why. And now I'm just gonna go back in and just hot comb the baby hairs. I'm just gonna hot comb that down. Oh, I've got my, oh my God, guys. It's not funny, this hot comb gets so hot, oh my god. I 
And now I'm going to take my Be Melted headband. You guys can see from where it both ways. I'm going to take this and I'm just going to use this to melt the lace whilst I style my hair. So let's just pop this on, shall we? Okay, so now I'm going to take off my elastic band and, you know, it should be ready. So if you guys are interested, once again, this melt band is also from me. So just pop me a DM or, you know, you can send me an email. Obviously, it's quite annoying for me because I wanted to launch everything once my website is ready. But I feel like, how long am I going to keep waiting for? So if you guys want to buy a melt band or a bonnet or even lashes, message me because I'm tired of waiting. <laughs> I'm actually tired of waiting. So I am very sure that this is ready. Yeah yeah so you guys can see that my melt band really does melt that lace into your skin so yeah so now i'm just gonna take my afro g hair mousse and just use this to slick down my baby hairs Okay, so guys, I'm now done with my hair, so I'm gonna move on to my makeup. I must say, like, I'm actually really proud of myself with this install today. Like, I think I did really well. Let me know what you think of this hair install down below in the comment section. So, once I finish my makeup, I'll come back and restyle my hair. I might even cut some layers into it. So, moving on to my makeup now, I think I'm gonna go for something really bronzed today, just because my hair's brown and maybe like a soft, I don't know. I'll figure it out but let me just start my base first i'm also not going to talk for this video i'm just going to do my makeup and then when i get to my eyeshadow i'll come back So I know I'm looking a bit crazy right now, but guys, just bear with me, okay? So um, I'm obviously doing my highlight first and then I'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation. So please just bear with me, trust the process, okay? Just trust the process. Sometimes it looks a bit crazy when you do your highlight first, but obviously by the time you apply your foundation, everything kind of just comes together. So for foundation today, I'm gonna use my Stay Naked Foundation by Urban Decay. And this is in the shade 81 Neutral Neutral. You guys can see like, it says neutral, but I feel like it's slightly red or maybe it's just me I don't know I feel like the one thing that's really good about doing your makeup like this in terms of like doing your highlight first, it kind of helps with blending as well. So if you're a beginner and you feel like your makeup isn't always blended, if you do your highlight first and then you apply your foundation the way I've just done, you can see how it's kind of helped to blend around the edges of the concealer. So I don't have that harsh line, you know, when I'm setting my powder and stuff. So, and that was literally a pump and a half that I've applied all over my face. I'm gonna go back in with the Beauty Blender and just, you know, just make sure everything is blended. So just to brighten up my under eye just a bit more, I'm going to go in with my Revolution um, Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C10. And this is slightly pink. It, it kind of has like a pink undertone, but it's, it works. <laughs> it still works. I don't care. So...
I feel like I've worn the wrong lashes for this eye look but I'm gonna show you guys what I did because you can't even see it because of the lashes I've got on. So I'm basically gonna take my face powder and I'm gonna use this as my transition shade. So yeah, I'm just applying my face powder as my transition shade and I'm not applying so much because I don't really want it to be that obvious. Like I just want something there. I just want something there but not too obvious basically. So once that's done, I'm gonna go into this palette right here. So this is from Makeup Obsession and this is their, what is it? Fro Shade Palette. Comes with a lot of neutral tones as you guys can see. Someone actually gave this to me but um, yeah, so I'm gonna go into this shade right here and just apply this all over my eyelid. So this shade is called Ultra and um, if I want this to stand out so much, I could obviously use the trick of um, applying my setting spray onto the brush but I don't really want it to be like, I'm going for something just very soft like, yeah, you got something on but it's not, you know, crazy. So. I think I might actually change my lashes, you know, so you guys can actually see it properly. But, um, yeah, so I'm just going to pop this all over my eyelid. And you might feel like it's not even showing up, but trust me, there's something there. And now I'm going to go back in with the same brush that I used for my transition shade and just blend around. I'm gonna go into my soft glam palette and I'm gonna apply the black shade right here. So almost like I'm using the eyeshadow as my eyeliner basically, but I want it to be really smoky so it's gonna be quite thick. And then now I'm gonna go into a brush that has nothing on it. So a clean brush and I'm just gonna use that to just, you know, just, um, what's the word, fade it out should I say? Yeah, I'm basically doing this just to stop it from being so harsh. So this is just going to give it like a softer look like, yeah, it's there, but it's not that super, super defined, defined or harsh, if that makes sense. Okay, so as you guys can see, I've got my lashes on now. I've done my bottom lash mascara and I've applied some blush off. So I just want to finish off my makeup and go back to my hair so we can obviously move on. I'm going to line my lips with my Morphe lip liner. This is in the shade Richie. I feel like Richie's a bit dark, so I might have to go in with... So I'm going to go in with... I'm going to go in with Richie. And then I'm gonna go in with my sleek pencil, just say nothing, this is nearly done. I'm gonna go in with this as well. Instead of lipstick, I'm gonna apply my e.l.f. concealer. This is in the shade Tan Sand. I'm just gonna dab it like around the center of my lips. I'm gonna use my um, NYX lingerie lip gloss in the shade Shy. I'm so happy the hair's been styled already, so I don't really have much to do. So I'm gonna grab my hairbrush and brush out the hair. So I'm just gonna add some slight layers to my hair once I can find my scissors. Okay, so this is the finished look and this is what I, I'm looking like. Honestly speaking, I feel, I feel like a grown woman because who is this? Who is this? Honestly speaking, like every day I look at myself and I'm just like, raw, like, baby, you're, you're growing. You're, you're a woman. You're, you're a woman. You're not a girl anymore. You're a woman. So once again, like I said, this, this wig is from RPG Show Wigs and um, this is their Money Car 002 wig. And the texture is silky, the hair is very silky, so soft, and it's so full as well. The density is 200%, so it makes sense. So I feel like, I think 200% density is like three bundles, or maybe two bundles and a bit. I think it's three bundles, because this is really, really full. The length is 16 inches, as you guys can see, so it's just like shoulder length. 
that's where it's up to on me and this is the transparent swiss lace but it came already tinted because i realized i didn't really have to put my foundation or my powder on the lace or anything like that it literally just matched my skin tone like right away so that's really good it comes tinted already but anyway yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video please make sure you check down below in the description box for all the links and details to the hair and also all the products that i've used today will be down there will be down below as well so yeah make sure to leave a comment down below let me know what you think don't forget to subscribe and share and i'll catch you guys in my next one bye